In this video, we will go over Excel homework 10.1 over time together. This is the last Excel homework for this semester. Um, remember, we only have 20 Excel assignments and this is number 20. So after this one, you will have no more Excel homework. Um, this is the third Excel homework where we will use the if function. I did find another great video that you can watch. Um, this is from Pearson. In chapter one of the Thinking Quantitatively text, we studied... Okay, that's our book, right? All right, so um, it's about two minutes and 40 seconds. So if you want to watch that one, um, this is this is a great one. Um, we did work, use the, the if function on uh, Excel homework CD and 401k last week. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, start this. So what are we doing here? In this problem, we will you will use the if function to calculate the total hours each employee worked and determine their weekly salary. Okay, so overtime. Remember, overtime, I think um, they get paid a little more, right? Don't they? Or is it always the case? But in our example, in our problem that we're going to go over together, they're getting paid, what, hour and half more. Oh, no, no, sorry. Um, they awarded it somehow. We'll read it together. Um. But what I also did was I went over this, took screenshots of it. So if you rather just go with the Google slide, it's available for you on Canvas. But I do want to go over this. I want to do this with you together, okay? So let me see. I can go download the file. Oh, this is the last one I... Go to the assignment. I know you go to Excel homework on Canvas straight, so that's also okay if you want to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and what can I do? A preview, and then I will work on it together with you. So download the material. I'm just gonna download the Excel file. So here we go. Notice how short this is. So this is another short one. But then the if function is gonna be a little more complicated, so it's all right. Um, step one: start Excel. Download and open the workbook name, chapter 10, 1, overtime start. We got it open. Step 2. In cell I-12, calculate the hours worked by, for the week by Jill Akers. Fill cell I-12 down the column to cell I-17. Okay. Let's read the information in the orange box together. You run a company with six employees. Uh, create a spreadsheet that keeps track of the hours each employee works and determine their weekly salary. If they work 40 hours or less, they simply get their hourly wage times the number of hours worked. That's pretty easy to calculate, right? It's just going to be multiplying. Uh, but here's the thing. If they work overtime, anything over 40 hours get paid time and a half. Time and a half. So, if you work two overtime hours, then you get paid for three hours worked. That's great. So, um, some people will have this overtime pay. If they worked anything over 40 hours, they will. we will have to pay them this overtime pay. So, let's first figure out the total hours worked by these six employees, okay? So, I see. They organize this table as um, daily hours worked, and they got the number of hours worked Monday through Friday. So for Jill Akers, um, the total hours worked Monday through Friday is going to be the sum of Monday through Friday. And this is what I did. I did sum G12 to G, I'm sorry, C12 to G12. It's going to add a 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4 and it will give us 20 hours. 4 times 5 is 20. So yes, so she worked 20 hours. Oh, but I can see the second person, Mr. or Miss Bartell, worked many hours. 11 plus 10 plus 4 plus 5 plus 10. But, you know, it's just going to be the sum function again. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this down. And I got this. How many people worked overtime? Let's take a look. Anything over 40 hours, it's going to be overtime, right? Only uh, the person who's called, whose name last first, who worked 43 hours, and this person, Five Jackson, who worked 72 hours. These are the only two people who worked overtime, right? So the other guys, Jill Akers, Channing Bartell, Jonah Hill, and to you, these pe four people will not get any overtime pay. But we, um, well, well, it's for this week, though. So maybe if they work overtime next week, we want to still write a good formula that will... Um, 
that will apply the next week, the week after, in case, you know, Jill ever wants to work over time in the future. So uh, we're done with step number two. We figured out total hours they worked, and that's simply going to be the sum of hours they worked from Monday through Friday. Awesome. All right, step number three. In cell I-21, use the if function to determine the, num the hours worked over 40 by Jill Akers. Now remember, Jill will only work 20 hours. So how many hours did she work over 40? Zero. She didn't work any overtime. So I already know that Jill should have zero for her um, overtime hours. If, employees, if, if, empl if the employee worked no more than 40 hours, the formula should return zero. That makes sense. Um, fill cell I-21 down, the column to I-26. So if I ask you a question, like click on, I'm sorry, click on this person. Uh, no, no, this person, Five Jackson, and ask you, how many hours did Mr. Five Jackson work overtime? Oh, oh, what's the number, total number of overtime hours this person worked? Well, I know what you will do. You will do 72 minus 40, right? That's, that's what it is. He worked um, 72 hours, but anything over 40 will be considered overtime. So he really worked 32 overtime hours. So what I'm expecting to see is, I better see zero for Joe uh, Jill Akers. I better see zero for uh, Channing Bartel. This person should give three. This person should give zero. And the last person. So the only two people with uh, the number of overtime hours should be uh, last first and Five Jackson, what names are these? Okay, um, but the other guy should have zero listed because they did not work anything over 40. So this is what I want my table to return here. But instead of actually typing in 0, 0, 003030, 0, 0, 0, I'm going to use the if function. Okay, so here we go. So click on Jill, and I'm just going to write a formula that will apply to everybody. I'll type in if. Okay, now if the number of hours she worked is over 40. Let's write that using an equality symbol. Now, where is the number of hours she worked? It was saved in. It was in I-12, right? Click on if I-12 is greater than 40. If I-12 is greater than 40. What we want them to do is we want them to do her, uh, the total hour minus 40, right? And for Jill, it doesn't make sense. And this is, isn't going to apply to Jill. It may, uh, it's going to apply to what? Last first and Jackson five. But you understand why I'm subtracting, right? So, for example, like if I ask you how many hours uh, over 40 did the last first work, you're going to do 43 minus 40. So that's what it is. The number of hours worked minus 40. But as you know, this will not apply to Jill. Uh, Jill will actually go with the third input where we have to give them value if first, false. Now, if they didn't work any overtime hours, if the number of hours Jill worked is not greater than 40, what number do we want it to show? We want it to show zero, right? Because if they didn't, if they didn't work any overtime hour, well, then that number should be zero. Hit enter. Well, here's what we got. Now, Jill worked zero overtime hours, so it's good to see that we, we get zero right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this cell down to uh, what I-26 and see if we get 0, 0, 3, 0, 32, 0, because we expect, we, we know those are the right answers. Ta-da, it looks great. So for um, those people who worked over 40 hours, like 43 or 72, what the formula did was they subtracted that number of hours minus 40, okay? If they didn't have a value that is greater than 40, then they simply returned zero. That's what the if function did for us over here, okay? Um, I took a screenshot of the formula and put that on Google slide for you if you want to look at that closely. But we are done with step number three. Now, step four in cell I-30, let's actually figure out how much their uh, weekly pay is going to be. Um, use the if function to calculate the total weekly wage for Jill Akers. And now we're just going to do that for Jill Akers, but we, we want to make this formula uh, uh, general enough for everybody, all six employees in this company. Um, so for Jill, wouldn't it be easy? Just she only worked, what, 20 hours? So what we're going to do is Jill worked 1250 times 20. Jill's salary better be $250, right? Uh, but, and then, you know, for Channing, it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be 400. We do 10 times 40. But for last, his name is last, um, 
he got some overtime hours, three hours extra hours that we need to pay him. How much? Time and half. So I can't just use the multiplying formula because for last and five Jackson, we better pay them overtime pay that is paid time and half. So we're going to use if function. Okay, so take a look in I30. Let me go ahead and double click here. Type in if function. If. If. If they have, well, let's do the easy one first. If they don't have any overtime hours, hours, if hours over 40 is equal to zero, what does that mean? That means they didn't work any overtime hours, right? They just worked less than 40 hours or less than or equal to 40 hours. If that number is zero, simply do their wage times their number of hours. Um, 1250 times i12 and these two multiplied together will give jill's wage right but suppose somebody actually has overtime okay so put a comma there and then we're going to enter the third entry um what we want to tell them is the value if this this overtime hour is not zero then what do we do first um well, that means this person worked overtime hours. And working overtime means worked more than 40 hours. So the first 40 hours, we're going to pay them their wage, hourly wage. Um, the first 40 hours, that's why I have 40 here, 40 times H12. And H12 is the wage for Jill Acres. But as I fill this cell down, the, the relative cell referencing will change and give the, the hourly wage for Channing, last, Jonah, five, and two. So that is the, the first 40 hours getting paid on the regular scale. But then, remember, we're getting some overtime pay here, right? Um, overtime pay will be the number of hours they worked over 40 times their wage, right? But remember, they get paid uh, one point times, 1.5 times that time and half. So that's it. It's kind of. Let me go ahead and highlight something, okay? This much, what I typed over there. Um, I21 times I H times H12 times 1.5. Those three multiplied together is the overtime pay. And we're adding that overtime pay to anything that he made for working the first 40 hours at a regular time wage. Okay? If I hit enter, what should I see? I better just see $250 for this person, right? Yes, but um, they want you to format this as currency with two decimal places, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this down. And I'm just going to maybe check on one person. Now, remember, 5 Jackson, he worked, what, how many overtime hours did he work? Uh, he worked 32 overtime hours, right? So his salary should be, the first 40 hours, he should get paid uh, his hourly wage of 40, ooh, $45. So first 40 hours, he's getting $45 per hour. But the overtime pay, $32, uh, not 32 hours he worked extra, he's not only getting $45 per hour, but we need to multiply that by 1.5. So I'm just kind of, and this, this is just me checking. You don't have to do this. But what I want to see is I better see this number matches 33,900, wow, $3,960 weekly salary for five Jackson. Let me hit enter. And it comes out exactly the same. So um, I do think it looks a little bit confusing. But what we are doing is, hey, check and see if they worked any overtime hours. If they didn't work any overtime hours, like equals zero, then simply do their hourly wage times the number of hours they worked. That's easy. But if the number uh, of overtime hour is not equal to zero, what that means is if they did any overtime work, we better pay them um, their wage for the first 40 hours they worked, the regular pay. But we also need to add the overtime pay, which is their hourly wage times the number of overtime hours times what? 1.5 because for overtime pay, they do get what? Time and a half. So hopefully this, this homework makes sense. Uh, we were using Excel function and we have to actually use some math to write these formulas right so go ahead and save this and submit it and if you got points taken off um please go to student gradebook and review the rubric okay now after this homework we have no more excel homework really um save and submit if you want to go back and 
um, make of any of the past you remember they're all open for you you may just um, it's gonna take what 20% late penalty but still I think Excel homeworks are the quicker ones that you can make up and since we have two weeks left um, if you want to improve your grade in the semester um, taking care of a couple of these Excel homeworks will be a great way to um, improve your grade okay all right I'll talk to you later